What's going on, guys? It's Ralph from No More Mutants, and I got a special surprise for you guys. Let's check this out. Oh. Let me lower this down a little bit. So we are going to go live, and we're going to have a special interview just for my followers. And I have the guys from IG Comic Store. Brent, what's going on? How you doing, brother? My brother, how's it going, man? Can you see me or no? I can see you, man. I can see you. I I, I can see okay. everything you, you get me, man. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't see what you're showing me because someone I've I've got somebody holding the phone, but okay. th thank you for having having us on and, and just to talk about this and Awesome hey, brother. Let's do it, man. We're ready. So guys, I'm coming to you live from the man cave. I have my statues in the back and Brent is in his office right now in Texas and I'm in Miami. And the reason why we're going live to talk to each other is because we want to share with you the biggest news that I've seen is happening in the X universe. And you guys can see I'm a big X-Men fan and I say it all the time. But Brent at IG Comic Store has an exclusive that's dropping tomorrow. Brent, what time is this dropping tomorrow? Okay, so these go live at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so that would mean 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for my followers, correct? Correct. Or, uh, you know, if you're West Coast, then two hours behind. So 8 a.m., a little earlier. Correct. For you guys. Sorry about that. So We're sorry about that. We didn't make the rules up here. No, no, we don't, unfortunately. And we don't make the time zones either. But, Brent, you have two comic book covers that I have seen that you've dropped uh, on your Instagram. You just recently posted, I think, House of X. And you have Addy Granov, which is a tier one artist. For anybody who knows comic books, Addy Granov is a tier one artist. And you have them drawing on your book. I mean, that is amazing, dude. Hey, yeah. I mean, we're we're very grateful uh, just for the opportunity to to collaborate and do something like this with Granov. He's he's been somebody that's we've wanted to work with uh, for for quite a while. So this is this is great. And you know, we we also like to cater towards the strengths of the art of of the artists that we're working with. Yeah. He does X-Men. I mean, he does just about every character phenomenal, but he does. Just, you know, His X-Men are absolutely amazing. And now he did two covers for you. One is the X-Men cover, which is part of the House of X um, storyline, but the House of X issue one, and that's your variant. And he also did a second cover for Powers of X, which is the Age of Apocalypse cover, which basically has the nemesis head of Apocalypse floating in front of four figures. Can you explain that piece for me a little bit? Because I know there have been some questions about that <laughs> yeah. Age of Apocalypse piece. There has um, mul multiple questions about specifically that cover. And so, you know, when we talked to Marvel about this concept, uh, it was implied through Marvel that this reset is, is, uh, it's permanent, you know? So this is a, this is an official reset for X-Men as we know it. And, wow. and for me, that's a big deal. Cause I'm, I'm a massive X-Men fan. I always have. Oh been. yeah. So this is, this is a, it was something that we had to do and be a part of. And, and that timeline age of apocalypse is one of my, it's one of my personal favorite timelines. It's an amazing storyline to begin. Oh you know, man. Isn't it? I, it really is. It, it's it's great. Uh, so that's really where that concept came from. We're really just we want to pay homage if, if gotcha. you will, to uh, to that timeline. Now there's there's four characters, almost like in a diamond pattern, and then behind is the apocalypse from the age of apocalypse, just his head. Now I think you have Magneto, you have Mister Sinister, you have Dark Beast, and the one that everybody keeps asking about that I know who he is, but can you care to explain who the long-haired figure is? I think on the far right. That's Scott Summers. That's uh, that's Cyclops. It's Thank Cyclops. you very much. So Thank that, you very much. That Cyclops was cold, man. He he was definitely a cold dude in that in that storyline. And I mean, he. Ah, well, for those that haven't read that storyline, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm not that type of guy. So I I encourage you to read it if you haven't. Yes. Go pick up an omnibus. He He's ruthless, man. Oh, he is. And and he was not raised or or tutored or mentored by Charles Xavier. So things take a very big spin in that character's life. Exactly. And he 
Yeah, it is. No, exactly it was mind boggling right. to me when I first read Age of Apocalypse. I'm like, this is amazing. It gave you such a spin on these characters. So I really enjoyed it. And I love the fact that you brought that to the forefront with your cover. Well, hey, Grenov really is the one to thank here because he's yeah. the one that, that just took bits and pieces of whatever I, I relate to Marvel and wow. brought it to life. You know, well, so, a lot of people thank, don't thank know you, that. <laughs> Yeah, that, those were just those are stunning pieces. Just absolutely stunning, and and a lot of people don't know the insights of how covers and variants get made. So right now you're sharing a piece of knowledge that nobody really knows, like wh what goes into planning a variant and so forth. But you you had a hands on approach to this with your vision, and you provided that to the artist. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, that's and that's you know any exclusive that we do, we we always. Uh, try to illustrate you know just what we want what we would like to see and and of course especially for the trade dress we like that classic that classic style the corner box yes. that's that's always oh. a part of it so. yeah you you just recently did your scott williams piece over here i have it up and it's it's your silver surfer and it's got the corner oh, yeah. box yeah. art it's got the scott williams art and then it even has the top corner box art with the trade dress saying marvel comics at the top I love this piece, and and you guys, to all my followers who are listening, I swear by these guys because look at this. They give you a certificate of authenticity. They are numbered. They are signed, and they don't come in regular plastic. These are in mylar. So, I mean, you guys provide quality stuff, and when anybody asks me, where can I go find some hard-to-find comics, some very nice comics, I always tell them, go to IG Comic Store because, Thank you. dude, you've gotten me you. some of the gems in my collection. Hey, I, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Uh, now, we do. Uh, so, I mean, you guys do a great job. That's what we're here for. That's why we exist to some degree. So, I mean, these these pieces, and including uh, you, you mentioned Scott. And, yep. And we've, we, we're not done yet. We've got some just beyond this next level yeah. fire that we're about to drop that is is – one for yeah. the, this is one for the books. Uh, the next yeah, and I, the I've gotten it to have conversations with you, and I know tidbits of it, and I like literally salivate because it it is going to be <laughs> that next that next too, drop that like, you I have is wait. really this exciting. Been a long time coming for this piece right here. So, by the way, we have a lot of do it than one of the creators himself. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, what more could you ask for? By the way, we have a lot of people commenting and giving hearts on the account. Um, we awesome. got that Omega Kid asking to say hi, and Wiki, Jose, <laughs> and Comic Bros. Right. These guys are here, and they're listening to the conversation, so I just definitely want to acknowledge the followers who are here. Um, one of the things we did want to talk about, though, is your your X-Men cover. Now, I'm a, I'm a big fan of that one because, you know, I'm a big X-Men guy, and I'm a big Cyclops guy. I literally saved that as my wallpaper for my phone. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because there's... There's some confusion with some people who one of the characters are, which I could see it from a distance, so, but maybe others don't. Yeah. So yeah, there, there's, there's, it, you know, it's kind of like a fifty-fifty on that film, just, just like the, uh, the Powers of X, uh, the Age of Apocalypse version. So this cover, you know, the main confusion here has been the guy on the left above Wolverine. Yes. And there, there's been a little confusion as to uh, who that is, and a lot. There's been some insinuation that that's Gambit and a new costume. Actually, there's been a lot of insinuation of that. Yeah, it's not. It's not. No. So, but but um, what's cool is 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 it's we can kind of that's how we kind of can pick up who's who is read who's reading, yep. and who hasn't read. And which is okay. Everybody's starting from a different uh, point, and we want to help guide them into the right direction. Yep. To understand like what these are and what these mean. Uh, so. And who is that character? That's Havoc. That's that that's Havoc. Mr. Alex Summers. Alex Summers. That's that is uh, Cy Cyclops's brother right there. Yep, Cyclops's um, little brother. Uh, and, I, and so we real. Quick, I'm sorry, Ralph. We. I did not expect Grenov to to do that that havoc in that costume. I was expecting the original one. So when we saw that, I loved it even more because oh, yeah. I mean, how many covers out there really exist 
with that costume of Hattie, Not which a is lot. one of my favorites besides his original. Correct, because that's the X Factor costume. And on top of that, you're that cover in itself, you have Wolverine, which is if not the most famous X-Men there is. You have Cyclops, which is the blue team leader. You have Gene and Storm, which are the gold team leaders. And you also have Havoc, which is leading X-Factor at that time in the 90s. And to me, that is an absolutely beautiful cover. Absolutely beautiful. Agreed. No argument and I, here. And, and I love that the way that Granov stationed Gene <laughs> He put Gene in between Wolverine and Cyclops. Did you notice that? Yes. <laughs> that is killer. It's, hey, the, these these really are modern, original masterpieces. And that's, they are. that's actually been a big request from our fans and fellow collectors is they wanted some, they wanted more originality. And, Correct. And I think between, uh, so thus far, uh, between Scott and Scott Williams and Grinov, uh, we're you know we're we're putting out just that. So. Correct, and and I think you guys are are having tier one artists presented as as on your comic book covers. I mean, I'm holding up your the hunt for Wolverine that you guys did that you have. I think with Delato, I see you got yourself a nice brewski, but you have uh, the Delato variant I have in front of me, and that is. Absolutely stunning. I'm holding it up so my followers can see it. Which then you have the, I can't see it. Which one the number one with, with oh, yeah. wolves. Yes. That, that is absolutely beautiful. And on top of that, I love Silver Surfer. I've always been a Silver Surfer fan. I have the number one that, uh, that, that you too. have right here. And not just to mention, you've had tons of other variant covers that have been very successful and just amazing pieces. Uh, Comic Book Bros is actually holding up some beer emojis for you because he saw All you right, drinking hey. one. <laughs> cheers, brother. And cheers. But uh, definitely, you guys are changing the game because one of the things I tell everybody is that uh, I can go by to my local comic book store and get a comic book. But when I go to find those hard-to-get pieces, I can only find one place to find them. It gives it to, oh, to me in a high yeah. quality, and they are you guys. <laughs> um, Thank you. No problem, my friend. Uh, one of the things I wanted to touch uh, touch upon is that this is such a massive event for the X-Men. I mean, I have some X-Men statues behind me, guys. But if you guys are are, are familiar with the characters, things are going to change. Have, uh, can you uh, illustrate a little bit about that or expand upon that? Uh, a little bit. It, it's kind of, it, So this is the official reset button. Gotcha. Uh, and and there's going to be new characters introduced, uh, mm -hmm. timelines that, and that that's part of why we wanted to do our kind of pay respect homage to these timelines, these covers that we did for specifically for House, specifically for Powers, and you know it. Ah, it's it's hard. I'm sorry, man. I can't say really more than that. Just hey, I, you, you don't want to give away the goods. Reader, but you know, with it, for those that are buying the sets tomorrow at ten, you get a reader's copy. Oh, that's so you right. Don't have to, you don't have to worry about cracking these open to read it. You you get a reader's copy with these, and we do that right. for our exclusives. So you're coming. And I I think I have a reader's copy in here. If you give me a second, just to show off. Um, I think it fell behind something. But basically what Brent is talking about is, let's say you order one of these. Since these are hand-checked by Brent and his team, uh, the, the big team, <laughs> these are hand-checked, and he will not give you a damaged book. That's one of the things, that's why I swear by these guys, because if you look at my seams and the bends, where the, there are no creases or anything. But if he finds a piece like that, he's definitely taking that out of there. Um, well, and he's. If I, go ahead. I interject. So, so uh, and I, you know, I don't mind being uh, transparent in front of thousands of people, hundreds Sorry. of people, because uh, you know we're we're human. We make mistakes. Uh, but yeah. but if because it's happened, if someone does get a book that is not does not meet standards, then bar none, no questions asked. We're going to take care of you. And, and I, I, I know most, I feel like most anyways of, of our, uh, our friends and fellow collectors, they'll chime in and they'll agree with, uh, I, I agree with no that hassle, a worry-free purchase, if you will. 
Uh, yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're here for you guys, so. I, I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. And there, guys, I'm telling you, as a fellow collector, you guys, I'm panning my room so you guys can see I'm in the man cave. I do have comic books. Cheers I do that. have hey. statues. Dilly dilly. <laughs> dilly dilly. And, uh, you know, I'm not telling you to follow IG Comic Store because it's a hollow follow. I actually follow them. I purchase from them. I get, ex I, I get some of their exclusives because these are things that I want in my personal collection. I can go to a local comic book store and get a regular issue, but I find that this particular piece, like he has two variant covers, are so special that I want those in my personal collection. And that's the thing that I tell everybody. If you're going to collect, collect what you love and collect what you like. You can't obviously collect everything, but if you are going to collect, collect something that you want and don't just go by speculation. But in reality, these books are going to revolutionize. This storyline by Jonathan Hickman is going to revolutionize the X-Men and change the landscape that we so, may see these seeds in the MCU when they finally show up. Go ahead, Brent. I'm going to, I, and I'm sorry, brother, um, cause I can't see you. So I don't know when's a good time to just sometimes jump it's in. All right. so I'm kind of just going by ear right now, but so, um, and I, if I can mention somebody, uh, which is Reggie from Reggie collects, Reggie uh, collects. Him and I had talked, him and I had talked uh, a, a few weeks ago and he touched on something that he may have already mentioned, uh, which was, Jonathan Hickman, you know, the, the MCU, they, they have used a lot of his stuff yeah, from the stuff he's written. So they're rebooting X-Men, like this franchise. So this last yeah. movie that came out, and I love the actors that are, actors and actresses that were involved in this in that movie in, in terms of how they portrayed the characters, so I hope they keep them. Uh, but but just a different direction, the yep. right direction. The right direction. Uh, there, there's a chance. There's a, probably a good chance they're going to use a lot of this source material that Jonathan and Mr. Hickman has written for us. Yeah. And I, I think Reggie's right about that. So I mean, he he caught up on he put he uh, when he brought that to my attention, man. I was just like, man, that's a yeah. good spec. That's a good spec right there. A good thing to think about. So thank and you, and that, I agree with I agree with Reggie because. The MCU right now is so iconic. I mean, DC, it, no other studio can catch up to them right now. What they did after 10 years put together. And since they are looking to reboot, and I don't think they want to redo everything that they've already done. Like, for an example, the Dark Phoenix storyline has been done twice in a cinematic setting. And both times they kind of failed and left us hanging and we wanted something else. Or we wanted correctly portrayed, I think with Jonathan Hicksman writing, he's going to put a different spin on things that they may just grab that and ha and, and use it literally as well, as a backdrop okay. to make the movie. Real the quick future. on that. So I, I, I think that's great. And, and here, let me give you a little insight on this. Uh, that I'm, I, So I'm really glad you said that. Here's something to think about. Just considering how big of a franchise X-Men is, right? This is Stan Lee and Jack Kirby created this. This is big stuff, man. Yeah. It's monumental. For them to officialize an official reboot is really not something to take lightly. And I, I, I feel like uh, a lot of fans, readers, may take it lightly because they see a lot of resets. But I, I don't think there's a lot of things that aren't being taken in consideration here. No, I, I, that have started and it, you know, it all stems from, I'm not going to put the blame on anybody here, but it stems from, you know, whoever's publishing it uh, to relay these messages. But when they restart an issue over to issue one, you know, that doesn't mean they're rebooting everything every time that happens. No. That means that's a beginning to a new arc. It's a Correct. new story that's happening. New writer, it's a new team. The legacy number always comes yes. into play 10, 11 issues in, sometimes sooner. And it's easier for most readers who are, are new readers that are coming in to not feel overwhelmed that they got to go back, which which these are omni, om, omnibuses. Uh, Jim always busts my ass about saying this yeah. word. <laughs> omnibuses that are out of print right now. So you can't yes. get them. So you really, you necessarily can't go back sometimes and read nope. everything unless you want to pay the iron price. On Correct. Everything. So yeah, and and just, I'm I'm just going to acknowledge there's a there's a viewer right now, Cinema Guru. He's asking, 
what 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 about the X-Men are we rebooting? The comics are rebooting, question mark. So uh, Cinema Guru, if you just joined us, and I'm going to post this on my IGTV so you guys can see it. Again, basically, this is an interview with IG Comic Store. They have an exclusive variant coming out for House of X and Powers of X, issue one. Both uh, covers are done by Adi Granov, which is a tier one artist. Um, and these are these are monumental books. And what he was just explaining is that for Marvel to give the thumbs up for Jonathan Hickman to reboot, you know, the, the whole X universe is big. And, and like and he so, said, hold on. I, and, so this is my opinion. I don't know that to be a fact. So I, I think it is. To I, that's that, me. OK, so that's this my is just, opinion. But I mean, this is, you know, coming from a business uh, uh, standpoint, I guess, just it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. really want to be careful on how you trade because some things some horses have been beaten so much they don't even, you know, you, you that, that expression, you know, don't be like dead horse or whatever it is. You know, this you don't even look like a horse no more. No, you know, that's no. how many times they've rebooted this, and, and there, therein lies the scare. But there's a, there is a huge light at the end of the tunnel mm -hmm. because now they're sticking to their guns. There's, a, there's a, there's a seamless path ahead. And this is also insight that I've, I have gathered. So I feel confident in saying this. Uh, I think so, too. Yeah. And I, there's another uh, viewer, Diaclone81, which he brought up a good point, which is the fact that, remember, there was a time that mutants were no longer loved by Marvel. And it was all about the Inhumans. And the Inhumans bombed drastically. Well, you know, that. But we know why that happened. That was yes. that was a Fox Marvel thing, and yeah. So, so we now that that's you over. Can this from video games, you yeah. know, like Marvel Infinite, you know, a, a very pop, a popular fighting game that stems from you know X Men Street Fighter going on. And I, see, I'm diving on a whole other subject of speculation, but a lot of those characters they use in those games have eventually yeah. ended up in movies, or there have been other. There's a reason why they use those uh, uh, those characters. To, to to make these attachments so everybody that's reading them and playing them, you know, makes these attachments exactly um, to these characters. So, gu so guys, we have been on uh, talking to each other. This is Brent. As for those who are just joining us, we will repost this on my IG story. Uh, excuse me, IGTV. It will that's be on we, my story. As will you that. guys. I'll I'll definitely <laughs> save the video and send it over to you so you guys can post it. I gave somebody, I gave Diaclone a fist bump because he fist bumped me just because I got to mention him in the in the stream. Um, Armando says he likes mutants. And uh, some people, I think this is Sean Darkseid that says, I'm looking forward to the reboot of the movies, but at the same time, I'm scared for a new reboot. And, um, and because you were talking about the video games, Diaclone mentioned that the last Marvel fighting game by Capcom uh, – uh, it, it kind of bombed because it, no mutants were featured, and that's I think that's why. kind of true. That's, so that's why, though. So, so at that time, the merger had not taken place, and they just they couldn't do that. So this game out, this game came out before the last two Avengers movies, and it was it was to build up on that. Hence the characters that are involved, Captain Marvel. I think it even came out before Captain Marvel was out. Yeah, uh, or it did actually. So uh, there, there's, there's a lot of different ways to spec. Just, just uh, on a whole nother, not switch, switching gears, but just in, you know, on the interim, there's a lot of different ways to spec and, and how you spec. And those are videos that we hope to do with yep. you or more frequent. Hey, there's a lot of, lot of stuff up here that I, that we definitely want to put out there. And and uh, another, most of it is factual. Some of it is just conceptual. You know, it's, it's, and it's from reading the market. And being, be, you know, doing this for 30 years. So, yeah, just, uh, hey, so you have a few guys yeah. in here. Uh, Diaclone actually said that he buys some IG comic store, which is very much appreciated because, like, I'm telling you guys, they give you the Here's best. You, Thank you. And, uh, a comic, sorry, this is Comic Bros. He was happy about the last X Men issue. Uh, he loves the way the storyline is going. Um, and uh, the real comic knight says he can't wait for Hickman's return and somebody sending a shout out all the way from Brazil. So, I mean, we're, you're getting, cheers we're, to, we're, you, cheers to Brazil. You yeah. That. Thank you. So again, guys, tomorrow, 10 o'clock central time, 11 o'clock AM 
uh, Eastern Standard Time. For those who are on the East Coast, IG Comic Store, if you don't follow them, you should follow them because I follow them and I swear by these guys. They will have two special variant covers, one for House of X and other one for Powers of X, both of them by Adi Granov, one of them featuring the X-Men from the 90s on the cover and the other one featuring the Age of Apocalypse characters because that was such an iconic storyline. And uh, we we wow. really love what you're doing, Brent. We really thank love what you. your team is doing. Uh, thank thank you, thank you. And, and if if I can just, I'm just gonna drop it, man. I I I can't hold it in no longer. Drop it, drop it's it. Been, drop it's it. been heavy on my heart for a while. We have a pretty big event planned in Miami, yes. September 14th, called Comics and Beers. Comics and Beers. Big Brewing. Yes, and it is. It is. Wow. Well, it. I, more I, information will be shared about that. But I just, more I information will be shared on. This might be the best time to do it. And both inform more information will be definitely shared on both of the accounts, my account as well as yours. It will be there is a big event in Miami, and IG Comic Store will be taking part in that event in Miami as will I because I am in Miami. And by the way, you got a shout out from Turkey. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hey, so brother. cheers Thank to you. Turkey. It, and by the way, Comics Bro, the release date for the – what is the actual shipping date, do you know, for uh, Powers of X and House of X, Brent? Because somebody was asking. Okay, so I, I don't know. But tomorrow, when you – when it goes live at 10 a.m., yes, make sure you read the please note, which is at the very top. It's in okay. one. So I try to break everything down in colors. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually the one that does the listings here, too. So if you see okay. something that may look off, don't – Reach out to me. Um, okay. Yeah, we're we're humble about it. The the so in that area, it's going to show you when it's going to ship by, and at okay. the very bottom in red, all we're asking is is sometimes sometimes, and this is this is granted that everything comes in and just like we have to go through all four thousand and really scrutinize and just yes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Um, we're asking that you allow us five to seven days after that ship by date to ship yeah. it uh, in the event that happens. So that's why that exists down there at the bottom in case if anyone has ever wondered. And, uh, and, just, and what I'm just to give us a little bit of, of grace um, while we're working through anything else that might be at hand that we're tackling. What Brent is speaking about is that he and his team of many – Hand, they go through these and they make sure they hand select these to make sure that they are the highest quality for you guys. So what he's asking for is that grace period. You'll see it on the website when you order and it will tell you when the issue is released and when, you know, you should estimate to receive your package. And guys, it is absolutely worth it. Comic Bros sends prayer hands and he says very cool because that was actually his question. And uh, a few others are just excited about this issue. Brent, and I, I told yeah, you to awesome. you before, uh, I you dropped my jaw when you when you show me that when you show me that cover, I immediately made it my look, wallpaper, look. bro. When so so I'm still I, I'm still just so you guys know, like I'm still collecting, I'm still buying comics. Like this, what we do, um, that's and that's another whole other conversation and video. So I, I, when I, when we do these exclusives, you know, I'm, I'm doing it as if it's something that I would want, uh, I would go after and I would buy from these artists, you know, the concepts, the ideas, all of that. It's, it's all mixed into one. So, so when I saw these covers that, that, uh, Grinov created for us, you want, I mean, blown away. I mean, this yeah. guy, he the realism is literally on tier with like Del Lotto. You know, yes. I'm going to say it. I'm, I don't mind saying it live. And, and I, I, we love Del Lotto, respect Del Lotto. But I, and, and I, by no means am I measuring up, but just how I view them just in terms of the, uh, the detail and yeah. the way he illustrates characters is just incredible. It's, it's, it's impressive. Incredible. The it realism is, and, it and it's, it's water, he's doing watercolor. It, correct. It wasn't digital. This was hand painted. If you go to Adi Granov's account on Instagram, you will see him literally painting the cover that's going to be re uh, uh, pre available for pre-order tomorrow from um, IG Comic Store. 
Um, he, Cinema Guru is just saying right now that he's got some buddies that swear by IG Comic Store and that you guys are really good. And I'm vouching for them, dude. Uh, your friends are not lying to you. They are, yes. they are at the top of the Thank notch. You. So, Brent, uh, to, I will be posting the images, guys, to all my followers who are on right now. I will be posting the images of House of X and Powers of X and also some uh, as a carousel so you can see the detail of this. And I may see if I can get some of Adi Granov's images where he's actually, with the brushstroke, painting Jean Grey's lipsticks. I mean, it's fine, fine hairs on these things, and it's amazing. Uh, Cinema Guru said he's going to have to check you guys out because uh, he hears good things about you guys. So, uh, Thank you. You won't and, disappoint. No, he will not be. I, I, I will vouch for them. Cinema Guru, if you buy something and you don't like it, send it to me. I'll, I'll get it because uh, <laughs> I, I've never had a bad experience. And, and again, guys, like I, I'm bringing it up right now, Brent, so you guys can, so they can see. You get a certificate of authenticity on the back. These are signed and numbered. And you get your comic book in a Mylar package. These are not a regular bag and board. Uh, the colors will pop. You will tell the difference when you get a package from IG Comic Store. First compared class, to anybody it, else. It's, it's first class all the way. Just, yes. just, just know that it, it is, it, we are a first class operation all the way from start to finish. And again, as I mentioned before in the video, we're, we're here for you guys, collectors. I, I'm a collector. We're yeah. collectors here. And so we, we're, we, our approach is directly from that, that type of, I guess, yeah. that outlook. Really, I think you know, I think you're absolutely minty, right. You want fresh, you want those nine eights. That's and, correct. Uh, if you're saying different, don't lie to you. Search your feelings now. Yeah, Search and and the reason the you know, reason you, Brent, you know it to be true. Correct, and and I'm holding up right now a nine eight so somebody can see this. This is what Brent is talking about. For those who are not in the know, uh, you want a comic book that can get the highest grade. And right now, if you get a ten, you have found yourself a pot of gold with a unicorn. And if you have a 9.9 .9 when it gets graded by CGC, let's say, you find yourself a little Pegasus. But a 9.8 is usually the industry's top of the line that you're going to find. And I'm holding up right now a J. Scott Campbell signed issue that I have as a 9.8. And, guys, this is what he's talking about. You don't want to buy a comic book that's bent, creased, or damaged, especially when you're paying a premium for a comic that's a variant. You want to make sure that it's coming in the most pristine condition there is. And that's what IG Comic does. IG Comic Store, they actually go in and they hand select these to make sure you're getting the very best that they can send you. And if you're not happy, you can always contact them and they will work it out with you. Uh, and, and you guys, I, I, again, Brent, I'm in Miami. You're in Texas. I swear by you guys all the time. So I'm, I'm more guys, than happy man, to way, share the love. Thank you, kind, brother. Thank, thank you. <laughs> no problem, brother. Well, listen, I know it's getting late over there. It's about close to 7.30, your time zone. We're, hey, we're, we're still wrapping up, man. We, we got a few more orders to pump out. And uh, there you go. it's a new day with more orders to pump out. We have a lot of stuff shipping between now and next week. So, and, so and good. I'm, we're good. We're good. That's what I'm saying. Appreciate it, brother. And, and I'm no, here in Miami, you. guys. And again, guys, this is Ralph from No More Mutants. And we have Brett from IG Comic Store. Again, remember tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Central Standard Time in the AM, they will have their two exclusive Powers of X, House of X covers available for pre-order. And um, make sure you jump on it. Set your alarm because these will fly. Um, I know they will because these are amazing, amazing covers, guys. So, again, Brent, you have yourself a good evening. We got to do this again. We got to chat some more. Bro, hey, man, De most definitely. Now now that we uh, know how this works, um Let's do it. I'm ready, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having us, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate you jumping on. And to all my followers and yes, to those who are joining us, uh, again, I will post this on my Instagram IGTV so you can check it out. And make sure you follow IG Comic Store on Instagram to stay up to date with their latest comics, when things are dropping, and some very, very, very big news will be coming out soon. That I know of. So Monumental. Monumental. It will change the game. This is the All first right, of its kind, so it's it's good. I man. think so. It's a good good step forward. Another step forward, brother. Awesome. All right, guys. You have a good evening. Good night, Brett.
All right. Have a good one, brother. Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.